Credit ratings are on the minds of investors at present. Last week, US and European stocks lost ground later in the week as these concerns mounted. On Thursday in Europe, Standard & Poor's, the credit rating agency, lowered the UK's credit outlook from stable to negative, creating fear that they may see a full downgrade. A change in outlook effectively means that they are under close scrutiny. This fear also swept to the US, where their government is facing similar troubles to that in the UK. Despite markets edging lower, our dollar keeps rising. On Monday morning, it was trading over 62 cents to the US dollar. Credit ratings will also be big news here in New Zealand this week. Reports suggest that Standard & Poor's are on our shores and waiting to see the outcome of the national government's first budget on Thursday. The outcome will be important to all of us. Like the UK and US, we are facing increasing levels of government debt, lower tax revenues and the likelihood of budget deficits for a few years to come. This all paints a fairly ugly picture. Depending on the outlook and our government's response, Standard & Poor's may look to downgrade our government's debt rating. This would likely cause the government's interest rates to increase. This would also likely flow through to the rest of the economy, with interest rates also rising for you and I, as overseas investors see New Zealand as a more risky place to lend money. The government is in a tricky situation, whereby they are juggling trying to help the economy recover while managing its own finances. By now, you probably will have heard the news out of the US that they will be reinstating dairy subsidies. This falls into line with Europe's move early this year. While details are still coming out, it looks like applicable volumes are not huge. Despite the low volumes, this is likely to have a negative impact on international prices and time, and will in turn affect New Zealand dairy farmers. This now means that for some markets, both European and US dairy ex exporters, can effectively lower their export prices below competitors such as New Zealand. Since Europe reinstated their subsidies, international dairy markets have in general stabilised. However, this further news means that I would not be surprised to see some negative impact on international prices over coming weeks as market players respond to the news.